Jody Ainsley here for part three of starting a Zoom meeting and how to actually get kids in there, get them ready to learn. And in this case, taking attendance while they're actually started their entrance task or their bell ringer. So let's get started. So I get this question a lot. It takes so long to start a class, right? So when you get your students to come into your class, how can we make a personalized waiting room so that they can be doing something while I am actually taking attendance, right? Getting them to be self-starters, like when they're in class in front of us. This is how you do it. I'm going to be using Zoom today, but you could do this in Google Meet without a problem. So what? the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go into a slideshow and you're going to create uh, your waiting room, right? So in this case, I've actually created a couple. Um, the first one we actually did in the last video where I had this projecting and I really, my focus was just to get them ready, make sure they knew the expectations getting set. But in this case, for this reading class, I want them to actually be doing some entrance task here. I want them to uh, make sure that they have their video on. I want to make sure that they're opened up to Google Classroom want them to start thinking about their entrance task here because we're going to discuss it as soon as we start class. So I, I created this. I'm going to actually put it into present mode. And then like the last time, I'm going to go to the bottom here. I'm going to exit out of uh, full screen so that I can actually manipulate the screen on my teacher uh, Chromebook. In this case, I'm actually going to then take this. I'm going to go into Zoom, which I have opened already and I've started the class already. I'm going to go to share and I'm gonna to go to application and I'm going to share just that application for starters. Go ahead and share. So now I am in Zoom. What the students are going to see is this. How I'm going to get ready for them is I'm gonna open up my Zoom window. I'm going to do alt bracket right to get this to the right. You could do a slide over to and lock it if you wanted to, if you're on a desktop or a laptop, but I'm on a Chromebook. I'm going to then go to this screen and I'm going to do bracket left. And remember, all the kids are going to see is uh, this. This is what they're seeing as they come in. So now I can see them starting to come in. The, uh, and the uh, waiting room will be posted up here. I will be admitting them as they come in. I will also have my attendance ready. And I will actually, as they come in and they'll be coming in up at the top here, I'll actually the expectation is that they have their video on, I'll actually be starting to do attendance. So I'll be actually be checking through them. They'll be able to rotate through and see uh, if there are any students that uh, do not have their video on at first when I start this procedure and routine, um, I might unmute myself and say, hey, hey uh, Susie, can you turn on your video so that I can welcome you to class? And so I would do that. Um, as I'm checking off the attendance, um, and when I get done with the attendance, um, I will also probably give them a one minute warning or 30 second warning to let them know we're gonna start class. Uh, and then I would go ahead and start class. And hopefully my attendance would be probably 85, 90% done at that point. Uh, really fast, something to do, a nice routine to get the students into. And I hope that was helpful.